Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hippo DeFi Kingdom's channel. So this is obviously my very first video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you do find some value in it. Um, please be nice to me. This is my very first video. I'm very new to this uh, space, this YouTube space. If you do enjoy this video, obviously, please like, please subscribe, and please give me any feedback because I want to make these videos as, as good as I can. Alrighty. So now just for this video, I did want to start talking about some of the community resources that have been created. Um, and there's a lot of cool ones out there that we'll go through. Now, just if you do, if you are aware of these resources and you do have them sort of in your back pocket as a, as something to refer to, I do really think that they could benefit you in terms of just knowing the trends in the game, knowing what's happening, things like purchase prices of heroes, the way that stats work so you can actually plan your heroes in the right way and just in all sorts of ways that I'm not probably not describing very well for you to do better in DeFi kingdoms so that you can make the most of your hard-earned cryptocurrency um, because in the end that's why we're all here we do want to make money <clears throat> alrighty so let's begin first of all though I would be neglectful if I didn't mention the AMA that was done by the developers to either today or yesterday depending on which country you're from you can probably tell from my accent that i'm from australia so it is the evening here <clears throat> now this ama was done um, overnight from my, from your perspective in the morning from mine and this ama covers a few different topics now the big topic that they covered was actually cross-chain gameplay. So obviously right now DeFi Kingdoms is only on the Harmony network. However, in the longer term, they will sort out the quests, etc. first. In the longer term, the developers are intending on uh, going likely to these four networks. So we've got Luna, we have Polygon, we have Phantom and Avalanche. They've outlined their expansion strategy here. They've explained why they say the current hero NFTs that we have are going to actually benefit from this and the actual why it's bullish for jewel prices. They go through all of it in here. I'll be honest, the tokenomics went very far over my head, but I do feel quietly optimistic about this one. So this is exciting news. Unfortunately, they did mention that the quests, the profession quests, which we are so looking forward to, are going to be a little bit delayed. So they were going to be around Wednesday when they were released, but the developers, they're working hard, they're taking a break, um, and look, God bless them, they deserve it. So I think it's projected that around Saturday the profession quests are coming out. So that is definitely something to look forward to. This, it did all, they also did mention during this AMA that there are new scam bots that are going around. Um, so they'll message you in Discord and they'll say something about going to the DeFi Kingdom's website. They'll send you a fake link, which is to a .org website, which looks suspiciously similar. It's not the right one. Do not click on it. These bastards are trying to take your money. Don't let them. So if you do see any of these messages, I would encourage you to obviously take a screenshot, go into Discord to the Report Scammers tab and just paste in your screenshot of that happening and they will get this cute little looking ban hammer here and kick them into oblivion which is fantastic <clears throat> okay so that's the ama let's jump into i guess some of the my favorite or at least the ones that i'm aware of resources for DeFi kingdoms so <clears throat> the white paper is the one you want to begin with i'd say this is the best one to begin with if you are really not that familiar with DeFi kingdoms it gives you a really good overview of just what the heck DeFi Kingdoms is, because it is something very new, very unique in the crypto space and in the world in general. And it explains, you know, everything in pretty good detail. So just take your own time, go through it. It'll explain the decks, the gardens, the heroes, how kingdoms and lands are, go are going to work, some of the background story, which is cool and a lot of the gameplay detail in terms of how heroes interact with the world. <clears throat> so yeah, take a look at that. So the next one that I did want to mention, oh, by the way, all of these are going to be in the description below, so please refer to that. The next one that I want to look at is this relatively new one that I've seen called Kingdom.Watch. Now this is a very cool resource and it's got a lot of features which I'll just go through very briefly right now. Okay, so the first feature is called DevWatch, 
and this lists a lot of the funds that the developers have in different wallets and what they do. It links to the Harmony Explorer, so you could actually see what's going on, what's going in, what's going out, and do some deep dives if you are so inclined. Um, it has the, some of the wallet addresses of the, some of the developers, airdrops, utilities, blah, 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 blah. It's all here. It's transparent, which is good. So that's DevWatch. <clears throat> Moving on. Quest Watch. So right now we only have the Wishing Well quests. What you can do, you can actually click on your own, you can type, you can paste in your own MetaMask address if you're so interested, or someone else's if you have that, wink, wink, and you can see their quest log, what they've been doing, what they've gained. It's also got this cute little record of the greatest tier pulls so far. The record is 20. Now, this resource, sorry, is created by Mag, so good for you, Mag, fantastic. Now, we've also got here Bank Watch. Now, this Bank Watch actually outlines the bank APR. You can use this to make your own judgment as to how worthwhile you think it is investing in the bank, where you have single staking, where the jewel turns into X jewel, and the ratio of value of jewel to X jewel increases over time. So basically, your jewel when you withdraw it is worth more than when you put it in. Now, this shows the APR annually, about average of 52.13%. Pretty damn good when you think about it in terms of in comparison to other staking protocols. And it's with the jewel token, which is a great token, obviously. I think in the past month, it's gone from $2 to $8. So that's pretty damn good. It's got the daily APRs. I don't know actually what makes them higher or lower, but all the data is here for you to peruse and inspect. It's got the total number of jewels versus X jewel, X jewels, the amount that's going in versus out, etc. Okay, so that's there for everyone to look at in their own time. Epoch Watch. So basically the Epoch is, in terms of the Harmony Network, an Epoch is about a week's duration, and the Epoch determines the change in rewards that you actually get inside the gardens. So obviously the gardens are the place where you stake two separate tokens. So let's say I'm in Jewel and Freyala, then I have both of these tokens and this is the APR percent that I get. Obviously it's much higher than in the bank, which itself is pretty good on its own, but obviously you do need to be aware of things such as impermanent loss and you know, just work that side of things out. So yeah, that's there. And it actually tells you the epoch change in terms of unlock rate. So this is the percentage of lo unlocked versus locked jewels. Now the locked jewels will start to unlock if memory serves July of next year, and that's going to be incremental. This also shows you the epoch multipliers. So right now we're on a 16x multiplier. I think it's gone down quite a lot, maybe 25% from the previous epoch, which was a bit, of a bit of a shock to the system to quite a few people. But um, yeah, that's that. And it's going to be 15x, so a slight reduction, maybe 6% or so, not as bad as the 20% next week. So this is something that you can use also to sort of work out what you think the gains are going to be in order for you to decide what you think is best in terms of your financial decision making. So that's Epoch Watch. Hero Watch. Now this one is interesting as well. If you type in either a user address, so the MetaMask address, you can go through all of the heroes, they're all listed, and I looked up a few of my heroes earlier, so we'll just click on this one and click load. This actually, you select a hero and it goes through, shows you the stats, which you obviously know. It does have this really cool algorithm, which was developed by Gok Machar, and it shows you what the heroes do well and not so well. You could actually use this to, if you were to say develop a spreadsheet and you were to put your heroes on this spreadsheet and you gave them profession scores, you could actually use this to determine um, with a reasonable degree of success. I it may not be 100% perfectly accurate, but I think the algorithm is a pretty darn good attempt at accuracy. You could actually use this to determine which heroes you would start doing your profession quests with when they come out, and how to sequence, how to plan. And yeah, it's a really good resource, and it just gives you a simple, new, gives you a simple numerical value that you can use for your decision making, which is great. So that is the hero watch. Now you've got the personal watch. So if you enter a MetaMask address here, I won't do it right now, you can see absolutely everything related to a, an, an address in terms of 
what the dollar value of their jewels are, locked and unlocked. I think it actually gives an estimate of the hero values and it's got an absolute ton of information. So just explore this. This is a great website, kingdom.watch and just have some fun. Yeah, so that's that. The next one I wanna quickly mention, there is a contributor called Samich Punch and he does a lot of data deep dives and I know, you know, these things are very collaborative so I don't want to exclude anyone else, but Samich Punch, he's your average corporate attorney and crypto fan, he has a lot of information. So he actually, I did mention the Reddit uh, post from Sarah. He also did a summary of the AMA and also the previous week's AMA. And so yeah, take a look at those. There's a lot of good stuff there. One of my favorite things that Samich Punch has is he's got this thing called a whale watch, which analyzes some of the bigger accounts and what's going on there, which is fun to always look through. Got a lot of data, a lot of statistics, wallet movements, and so on. My personal favorite content from Sandwich Punch is this thing called the Lost Annals of Gaia. So this does really wonderful deep dives into the mechanics of heroes, how they work in terms of leveling, statistics, genes. Um, it's got snippets of information from the developers. This is Hubert Cumberdale. He is one of the developers who works on the very deep dive technical side of gameplay. There's a lot of cool stuff here, so explore it and, you know, just layer up your knowledge about DeFi Kingdoms. It's all here available to you. So that's Sandwich Punch. I think he's pretty great, if you, in case you haven't realized. Next one is DFK Wiki. So this wiki, this is actually one of the first um, websites. It was created by Asara, and as you can see, it's got these, it's got the older style visuals of the heroes. This was actually the first website that listed the heroes even before the tavern was released. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff on it. I would just encourage you to take a look through the tabs. It's got information about hero sales. Um, it's got a lot of data. It's got a lot of graphs. Here's an epoch graph as far as the liquidity pools from the garden. Um, it's got to create a spotlights and there's a lot of cool stuff here. So yeah, just explore around and take a look. <clears throat> Alrighty, next one. So this link, dfk-tavern.herokuapp.com, this is a dashboard related specifically to the tavern. So you give it some time to load. This actually shows you in real time all of the hero sales that have occurred on the tavern. I think I can zoom in, yes I can. And it'll show you, it'll color code them based on the rarity. So purple is obviously mythic the rarest. So they've got the sales outlined here. These ones that are at the top that are the most expensive. Ah, it looks like there are no Gen Zeros sold today. The market seems to be slowing down over the past week. Um, I think it's to do with the profession quests or lack thereof, but that's another story for another video. So you've got the sales here. This is really cool to look through. Um, yeah, have fun with it. Uh, there's other stuff up here too. <clears throat> DFK Tavern, here's another one. So all of these video, all of these uh, sites look at the data from slightly different perspectives. So they're all very cool in their own way. This one has graphs which compare the floor hero prices. So basically how cheap they're getting. So they are getting a little bit cheaper day by day. And there may be certain times of the week where we may notice there's differences, etc. So just explore this. It goes through the jewel price and it goes through the price of the tiers, which are obviously what you use for summoning. They're very cheap at the moment because summoning is getting difficult. Um, I'm struggling with that personally. <clears throat> so yeah, it's also got a lot of these other cool graphs and it's just fun to explore these in your own time. So I would encourage you to do so. So that's pretty much it as far as the content from me at the moment. The other thing before I go, Discord. If you are not on Discord, get on Discord immediately. This is your one-stop resource for pretty much everything. We've got a fantastic community, um, mostly. No, it's a really good community, and a lot of people here are very helpful. You ask any questions in the DeFi Kingdoms discussion, a lot of the community is really, really helpful. So yeah, it's great, explore it. Um, I enjoy a good meme. There was a meme competition that might be over, and yeah, it's great. So. <clears throat> That's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much. If you did find anything of value within this video, please give me a like and subscribe. That would be great. And yeah, if you do have any feedback, I am very receptive because I am brand new to this. 
So yeah, let me know what content you'd like me to discuss or if there's anything else, that, any, any topics that you'd like covered or any comments or feedback, let me know. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.